We're talking with Tiffany Wittrock from the Audubon Wheelers uh, here tonight after they took on Missouri Valley in a varsity doubleheader. And Tiffany ended up a little bit short in both games here tonight, but overall, how did you feel like this night went for the Wheelers? Uh, I thought it was a really good job, actually. Everyone had their moments. We just need to stay on the bats and just not have any errors on the field, but otherwise it was a decent game. Let's talk about that second game tonight. First one, 13-3 uh, and 6, but the second one, 11-7 ball game. 3-3 three three going into the sixth inning. What was kind of going through your girls' minds early in this game when this game was tight? We just know, knew that we needed to stay on the bats, and then they started getting on their bats, so we just knew we needed to fill the gaps because they're, they're a good team of hitting gaps. But otherwise, it was just we came up short, but we did battle back, definitely with Taylor's home run. But Had to catch both games tonight. Yep. Uh, how did you feel uh, in that second game? Legs a little bit tired now, or are you okay? No, I'm used to it. I don't, uh, there was a tournament where I caught all three games, and I'm used to it. It's no big deal. <laughs> what did you see from the pitchers tonight? Yeah, it's all three of them throughout the uh, night. Yep. Uh, Faith started off, and she started really strong. She's throwing everything in there, considering she's had surgery in like three months. So, And then Matresa came in and was struggling a little bit, but she got through it. And then Katie came in and finished out the first game and was really strong, and then started off the, at, well, I guess, finished the second game for us, and she did pretty well, too. What was, what was the best pitches you were seeing out of Katie tonight? If you needed a strike, if you needed a strike out, what were you calling? Definitely the curveball. Her curveball sometimes will turn into a drop ball, but otherwise it was, it was a great night for her curveball. Talk about uh, the plate tonight. How did you feel hitting the ball? Well, the first game I felt like everything was on and I was just ripping it, but the second game I just couldn't figure anything out. But I think it was because of the pitcher and she just had a different wind up, so I was having struggling with that. But otherwise, I felt good. I just need to keep get in contact with the ball. A little rally going here in the seventh inning of this second game, down 11 to 7. Uh, what were you telling the younger girls in the dugout at that time? I just knew they needed to go up to the plate confident and not thinking like, oh, an inside pitch is going to be a strike. Like I told Taylor, she needs to just stop thinking about striking out, and she hit a bomb. So just tell everybody stay confident and you're going to get one. What did you guys do to her in the dugout when she came back in after that shot? I just slapped her in the head and said, nice job. <laughs> well, Tiff, I appreciate you joining us. Great job here tonight. Thank you.